One News. Welcome back, guys. National Meatball Day. It's coming up, and this morning we are helping you prepare for this festive holiday. Now, many people automatically think of spaghetti and meatballs when they think of meatballs, but it turns out there are tons of different yeah. ways that you can make them. You just, you just make it and eat it without <laughs> anything. Because it tastes good. Richard Hammonds is here from Five Star to You to talk about uh, meatballs and show us how you can maybe spice up your meatballs and kind of a cool meatball brand that's doing it a little bit differently. How are you? Totally good. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Happy I'm good. to be here. I'm, I'm better now. Well, yeah. With the, with the cold <laughs> temperatures outside, this smells and feels, yeah, like the kind of food you want to eat today. Certainly. Okay. Certainly. So these are beatnik meatballs, or that's the brand? Yep, beatnik meatballs. It's uh, organic, uh, non-GMO, grass-fed beef with uh, uh, no gluten as well as paleo. Nice. Mm. Yeah. So just uh, your whole paleo diet. If I was on paleo, I would just eat meatballs. Totally. <laughs> just give yeah. me a bowl of meatballs. That's all I need. Exactly. But exactly. you were talking about ingredients, and even when you make your own meatballs, the right ingredients is the good fresh beef or sausage is always good. Exactly. You want to start with the proper protein yeah. first, for sure. And, and how so, do you keep them tasty and moist as well? Yeah, what are they you always adding dry to out, them? don't they? Yeah, it just really depends. Um, sometimes we were talking about earlier, you like to throw a little bit of sausage in there, yeah. a little bit of extra fat or something like that. These ones don't have a lot of extra fat, but they're still very, very good. Um, one of the things that keep consistent and moist is that they add a little bit of uh, gluten-free breadcrumbs in there oh, yeah. to help to, to help to give it a little bit of softness as awesome. well. You've got some, uh, some things we can use to spice it up with? Exactly, and so what we're gonna do is start with sauteing your meatballs to get a nice color on there so you have that beautiful caramelization. Ooh, that's then beautiful. Then we're gonna add some organic uh, the tomato? Yep, organic diced tomatoes that have been strained a little bit. Okay. And those are just going to help to bring it together a little bit. And so what we're doing is basically making a hamburger casserole. Nice. And so next we're going to go with you our... You know me. You <laughs> know me well. <laughs> right? Next we're going to go with our organic ketchup. Okay. And that's from Elevation oh, here in local, Denver. Right? Yeah. Yep. I've yeah, they, they make a beautiful product. A Next onto the organic mustard. If you uh, just can't get a find it. tang to it. Exactly, exactly. And then what, what's a hamburger without some pickles? Nice. Cool. And so we've got some nice real <laughs> dill pickles here that we're going to throw in the mix as well. Just and something really you nice mix and that easy. Up, what, what is this that you have on the tray over here to the right? And so what that is is Annie's Organic Biscuits. And so what we're going to do, instead of using bread, we're going to oh. use the biscuits on the top oh. to essentially make the, uh, Chris, the, the bread feel. I feel, like it, I feel like it's my birthday. <laughs> this we, is like a meal for you. I'm 16 again. <laughs> <laughs> we always want to add a little touch of love, you know, just a little yeah. touch of salt and pepper and get that in there. Can I try one? Of course you can. All right. And so what you, those biscuits are pretty basic things. You just pop those in the oven? Exactly. Are you looking for the finished product out there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, what we're going to want to do is we'll take these, put them in a pan that's just lightly uh, sprayed. Okay. And we used an allergy-free spray for this one as well, just to make sure we didn't have any cross-contamination for individuals. So we got to go. So you're just popping those on top? Yep. So we'll just do this. Now we're going to go ahead and add the uh, oh, geez, right melted low-fat oh cheese gosh. on the top there. What do you think, Kirk? Delish? Yes. And then we add it. the biscuits on top of oh, that. That's cool. That is Throw a cool them in idea. the oven 375 awesome. for 15 minutes or until they reach 165 in the middle. And dinner's and ready. Then Look at the ah. With the magic of television, oh, we pull beautiful. out our finished product. All right, we got to go. What's your website? My website's fivestartu.com. Here we go. I have a personal chef service locally. You can come and cook for your party. Exactly. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Good to see ya. All right, let's send it down to Greg. Is this cold? Uh, Can I eat this? Yeah, I think, it is I think Greg's going to want oh. us to bring this down yeah. for him. Don't no, eat it all. There's no, no, don't, no, no. <laughs> Greg can get what's left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that I now know about that, and I can smell bit. it. So